In today's lecture, let's solve a problem in sliding window protocol. Let's dive into the question now. Station A uses 32 byte packets to transmit message to station B using a sliding window protocol. The round trip delay between A and B is 80 milliseconds and the bottleneck bandwidth on the path between A and B is 128 kilobits per second. What is the optimal window size that A should use? And this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2006. Options are given. Option A 20, Option B 40, Option C 160 and Option D 320. Before solving this problem, I request you to watch my previous lecture title The Bandwidth Delay Product and Sliding Window Protocol. So these two lectures will give you a basic understanding about what is the capacity of the channel that is the bandwidth delay product and what do you mean by window size in sliding window protocol. Let's solve this problem. Before going into the solution, let's revisit the question again. The given data are, the delay is given which is 80 milliseconds, the bandwidth is given which is 128 kilobits per second and the packet size is of 32 bytes. Please make a note of this part, this packet size is of 32 bytes. So we are required to focus on bytes and the packet size is 32. Now let's solve the problem. We know the bandwidth delay product is the product of bandwidth and the delay. And in the question it is mentioned that the bandwidth is 128 kilobits per second and the delay is 80 milliseconds. We will just use it. Now if you observe, this is in kilobits per second and this is 80 milliseconds. Now we are required to find the bandwidth delay product and this is the capacity of the channel. So we want this part to be in bits and we want this part to be in seconds. So firstly we will convert this into bits. Kilobits are converted into bits by just multiplying with 1024. So we will get 128 into 1024, this is the bits. And this part has not been converted yet. Now we will convert that 80 milliseconds into seconds and the conversion is very easy. This is 128 in 1024, this remains the same and this 80 milliseconds is converted into seconds as 80 into 10 power minus 3 and when we observe this entire content will be in bits, why because this part has converted the kilobits into bits. The entire bandwidth delay product is 128 into 1024 into 80 into 10 power minus 3 bits. We are required to convert this into bytes because the packet size is of 32 bytes. Firstly, we will convert this into bytes and then we will focus on 32 byte packet size. The bandwidth delay product now is in bits. In order to convert this into bytes, just let's divide it by 8. Now the bandwidth delay product is in bytes and just recollect what's the packet size? It's 32. So just when we multiply with 32, we will get the optimal window size. So the optimal window size is this entire information multiplied by 32. When we simplify this part, we will get 40 as the result. So the optimal window size is 40. And that's it guys. We have solved the problem now and the options are given and we know 40 is the answer for this question. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.